Welcome back to part two of our Wayne Tebow cupcakes that we are going to be coloring in today using just regular pastels. I've got these prong pastellos. These are really awesome. Um, I like these because they are low dust, so we don't have a lot of that dust blowing around when we're working with them. And they leave a very nice, bright, uh, vibrant color on the page. So we're going to do this style in the style of Tebow, where he was very into using bright colors that weren't very realistic as what we would see uh, in if we were to actually look at a cupcake in front of us. So he'd use some really bright colors. So let me just kind of show you what that would look like. So I'm gonna start with just actually working with the foil here. I'm gonna select just a basic couple of colors I wanna work with here. I've got this really nice uh, turquoise tealy type color I wanna work with. I've got a really nice blue. I think that'd be really fun to work with. And I think I think I'm going to add this kind of mustardy gold yellow. And what I'd like to do is with those colors, I'm going to create the indentions, the different ridges that go into the foil on the cupcake. So I'm going to start here with just my basic. This will be my kind of mid color here, the main color that I want to use. And I'm lightly coloring it in. You don't need to be pressing too hard with pastels. You do not need to be making it where there's a ton of just chalk lying around. That means you have too much if you're doing that. Coloring this in. Oh, I'm gonna need a tortillon for this as well. I'll grab that in just a second. Coloring this in, just get my basic color down. And the next step is going to be, we are gonna be doing some blending. You can either blend with your finger, or if you don't wanna get that much of a mess on your fingers, you, you can blend with your finger here. But I also have Dratillon I'm gonna use. Um, the bag of Dratillons here that come in different sizes. These are blending stumps, and they come in different sizes depending on the areas that you wanna work with. So here's a good one I'm gonna use where I can come in and start to kind of, if you want to blend with the tortilla and look at that, it does a really good job blending that color, okay? Before I even worry about that though, I'm gonna come in here and I wanna start creating the different colors Tebow would have used in his artwork. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add kind of just down the middle of each of these sections a little line of this light sky blue. And in the ridges here, I'm gonna add a little bit of that gold. Tito is all about color. He's one of my favorite pop artists. And pop art is really just taking everyday ordinary things and turning it into art. Think about uh, Andy Warhol, just taking a can of soup and making it into fantastic artwork. Tebow would take lipsticks or other basic items that people don't even really think about turning into art, and he would make it art. I'm going to come in here and add some more, which some of those colors have gotten lost. There we go. And this is where you can come in with your tortillon and do some blending if you need to. Or you can just kind of leave it as is and leave that raw, just look with the pastel. If you ever get to a point where there is a lot of dust on your page that you need to remove, which hopefully you're not overdoing with your pastel and having too much of that. But if you do, easily just pick up your page, take it to the trash can, and dump it in the trash. I'm dumping mine off to the side here. I've got a little spot on my work table that I use. All right, so I've got my cupcake, the uh, foil wrapper area done. So I'm gonna start thinking about some colors that would look nice up here for the actual, the frosting. So you can come in here, and I think I'm just gonna start with some pink. I've got this basic light pink in here I'm gonna add. And you can use the side of your pastel as well. And if your pastel, happens to be dirty and have some other colors mixed in with it, just wipe it lightly onto a paper towel. That's how we can kind of clean it and just have it ready to go. So 
So I just lightly raked in some pink color there. I think I'm going to come in now with my this darker pink and add just a little under each of these black lines that I've drawn. This is going to kind of create the shadow under each layer where it's the uh, frosting is coming up and billowing over the layer and below it. On the edges there too, okay. And again, you can take your blending stump. If your blending stump gets to be a little dirty, again, just wipe that on a paper towel as well. That'll clean that right up or flip to the other side. And I can start to blend in here. Like Tebow. Making these bright colors, blending them in together. Something amazing with Tebow's artwork is the use of, the big thing is the use of color. Um, when we go in later and we start working on the shadows even, his shadows are not just black or gray. He uses lots of color in it. Okay, so we've got that kind of blended in there. The cherry, I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to start with just a little bit of red, lightly coloring that on there red, but I don't want it to be just a pure red. I'm going to go back into this kind of, this purpley color here. I want to mix some of that in there too. I think that's going to make a really nice, fun, purpley cherry. You've seen those purple cherries at the grocery store? It's really fun. And I'm just going to take a basic green to color in that stem there. And maybe a little bit of a dark green here. Just along there to kind of mix those colors together. All right. Now, you can add sprinkles to your cupcake as you want, and um, this is why I didn't want to go into too many details with doing the drawing with the oil pastel. I wanted it to be left where you can use your pastels to add some of these tiny little details later. So, I might add some sprinkles. Just take this purple here and add little bits just along the very top, maybe the second layer here too as well. Smooth that, and ooh, yellow. Got a bright, nice bright yellow here. And look at how bright this, I love these prong pastellos. They're really fun. I'm going to add even brighter. They just show up so nice and pretty on here. And I think I haven't used, let's do orange. I have not used orange yet. Just like Tebow. He would have come in here and used the entire paint palette to do his paintings and drawings. Now the background is going to be up to you after you have those details. What colors would you like to, you, to use? Uh, one thing I want you to think about is a shadow. Something he would always add to his artwork is a shadow. What we're going to do is create, I'm going to take some green, I think this light green, and I'm going to create just a light, almost like an oval, pretending that there's a skinny oval that goes behind it but only shows in the front there. And I'm going to color that in and just use the light the, the side of your pastel to color that in. And I'm actually going to take some of this blue and add some of that as well. That's kind of how he would have added in a beautiful shadow using color. And you can again use your tortillon, blend that in. And with that extra, oops. Tortillon got away from me. With the extra dust that's blowing around, pick it up, take it to your trash can, and just dump it off to the side. I'm going to do that over off the camera here where you can't see, but I've got an area. Okay, that's going. So now I've got this whole background. I can start deciding what kind of colors I want to use. Um, this is really up to you, this mix of fun colors. I think against this pink, uh, it would be fun to use some sort of a, maybe this orange here again, where I can come in and lightly rake in my color. And I have a little bit of orange in my, in the little bits of sprinkles that I put in there. So that'd be really fun just to kind of use that color again. We like repetition in color. Repetition is definitely one of those uh, principles of design that we use in our artwork. Okay, so I've kind of raked in some color there. And you might even try blending something like I can take a yellow now and blend in a little bit of yellow on top of that. This is the great thing with these pastels. This is one of my favorite mediums to work with is the pastels. 
and you can leave it either like this where it has the bits of patches of white still showing through. We call that a scumble. I think I've mentioned that before in my other videos. But a scumble where you just leave it or you can blend it with a tortillon. It's up to you. Depends on the style you want it to look. Uh, down in here, I think I'm going to take, go back to some purple. And I think I'm going to leave this as just a pretty scumble. And if that is completely up to you, though, if you want to blend it in with your tortilla or your finger and kind of blend that a little bit better, or if you want to leave that. And I think I'm going to add on top of this blue as well, maybe what would look nice. Let's take some of this pink here, this light pink again. I'm going to come back here and add some of that in here and see what happens. Oh, that's kind of fun. What it's doing, it's just kind of blending everything and making it a little bit lighter. Adding a little more pink to it for me. There. All right. I'm going to stop here. Uh, I want this to be your creative uh, ideas in your own mind. Uh, so you're not feeling like you have to copy exactly what I'm doing. Um, explore the different colors that you can use and just really have fun with it and see what you can come up with on your own. So... These are going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to see your desserts that you make. I know uh, some of you are going to be doing different types of desserts, not just cupcakes. We learned how to draw the cake. Uh, some of us learned how to do lollipops. Some of us had to do an ice cream sundae. They're all going to be fantastic. So go ahead and uh, have fun.